So what if you spend your entire life externalizing your sense of self-worth and attaching it to things out there, things, people, events, circumstances, and you end up experiencing a roller coaster experience of ups and downs throughout your entire life, just going back and forth. Imagine how unstable that is. But imagine that you do that for your entire life, for years and years, for decades and decades on end, all to then have this wild awakening, a spiritual awakening, where you then realize that you don't actually have to do that. You don't have to live in a way that your self-worth is tied to the external right? Imagine you do live that way, though, for so many years, right? Which means then that if you're living that way, you realize that you're tying your self worth to things. And then when you lose those things or those people, right? Then all of a sudden, you're worthless, right? You've got it, you're worthy, you lose it, you're worthless, right? What a fucking way to live life. And when I say that I'm not referring to any healthy structure i'm referring to exactly what i said before which is a roller coaster of emotions ups and downs and ups and downs over and over and over again i used to believe that that's the way that life is that that's the way that life's supposed to be that you have these ups and downs right but then what about the spiritual awakening that you have that has you realizing that you don't actually have to do that that you can instead internalize your self-worth validate yourself, approve of yourself, love yourself all first, and not even tie your self-worth to the external, right? Because what's the point of tying your self-worth to the external if, one, you don't have to, two, it results in a roller coaster of emotional experiences throughout the course of your life, which lead to severe and profound ups and downs, right? If you don't have to do that, why would you? Why should you? I understand that a lot of people didn't learn to validate themselves. They didn't get that healthy transition in childhood where, you know, the parent first validated and approved of you, and then they taught you to do that of yourself, right? Now, actually, a lot of people got the exact opposite. Yeah, no, a lot of people, they didn't even get the validation and approval from their parents, right? They got the exact opposite. They got the belief that they are actually a worthless piece of shit. So they've been battling self-worth their entire life. So they continue to uh, externalize it. They continue to make it an extrinsic gain. They continue to tie it to things and people. Oh, if I finally just get that, then I'll be worthy. Oh, if I finally just get that person, then I'll be worthy, right? And then see the, the, the wild thing about externalizing your self-worth is that when you tie your self-worth to things out there, out in that world, out there, right? It becomes like an anxious attachment style game, right? Because of course you're anxious about it because you're terrified of losing it, right? You're terrified of losing it because losing it means that you become worthless all of a sudden, right? Whatever it is that you've tied your self-worth to out there, it becomes an anxious attachment style game because you're terrified of losing it because, again, worthy, worthless. I have it, worthy. I lose it, worthless, right? And see, the fascinating thing about intrinsic self-worth, which is the healthier way to go about it, not, 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 the, not the healthier way, the, the healthy way, <laughs> and extrinsic self-worth is not a healthy game. It's not. Because when you tie your things, when, when you when you tie your self worth to things and people out there, you're anxious about it. You're tying it to something that you can't control, right? You can only control yourself so much. I mean, you can you can only control the external so much. That's the reality of the game, right? That's that's how that works. That's how that's always worked, right? But when you validate and approve of yourself, and you're not tied to anything out there, you're good. Instead of instead of this right? You're just, you're chilling with nice waves. I'm, I'm putting in like the, the subtle movement for the, just for the fun of it. Um, but like, imagine living your entire life, externalizing your self-worth, right? Having all these ups and downs and everything. Um, it's, it's kind of comparable. I've made, I've said this before in a previous video, it's kind of comparable to, um, Frank Sinatra's That's Life. And I love that song. I'm not here to, to bash on that song, but that song is a great 
example. I love Frank Sinatra as an artist. That song is a great example of what it is that I'm talking about, right? That's life. That's what all the people say. Um, you're riding high in April, shot down in May. But that's probably because you're tying your self-worth to the external, right? That's because you're tying your self-worth to the external. And when you have something, you feel really great because you're so dependent on that thing. And then when you lose it, you feel worthless because you feel like you don't have self-worth anymore. It's so backwards. <laughs> it really is. And so when you have that spiritual awakening and you're like, I've been tying my self-worth, something that I can internalize to the external. And I've just been experiencing this roller coaster of emotions unnecessarily, right? And let me make this very clear. When you tie yourself, well, I, hold on. When you, when you internalize your self-worth, when you realize your self-worth as intrinsic, right? And you validate and you prove of yourself and you love yourself and you don't have to have anything tied, not to have your self-worth tied to anything out there. And then not only that, but you also realize that anything that you do, that, that, that is, I mean, we do things out there, obviously, but anything that we do becomes a matter of enjoyment rather than, oh, I need this for my self-worth. I need this to feel better about myself. You don't, but <laughs> you, can, you can live that way if you want to. It's not, it's not true, right? So tying it to things out there because you need the worth is unstable. It's all over the place. It's everywhere, right? And when you change the game to validating yourself and stopping worrying about other people validating you, other people giving you that sense of self-worth, you take your power back. That's the reality of that, right? It, it's wild to have a spiritual awakening around self-worth because like you, you could spend decades of your life, like you could be halfway through your life and you could have this awakening and be like, wait a second, self-worth, healthy self-worth at least is an intrinsic game. I can validate and approve of myself I've only been doing it this other way for this whole time because I was invalidated as a child and I learned to chase validation and approval externally. I learned to chase worth externally. And so I've been doing that my entire life. But all that I really need to do is just validate and approve of myself and that's it. And I don't have to tie myself to anything externally. Anything that I do just becomes enjoyment right you know like let me put something in place as an example um for a while i was looking at my youtube channel as a game of extrinsic self-worth right i was like oh validate me approve of me you know like i i was looking at numbers and everything i was looking at all these different metric things and stuff and i was like well i'm not worthy until i get to this point or i'm not worthy until i get to that point this is for fun like youtube is for fun and let me make this very clear for people that don't understand this because this is really important to understand whatever it is that you do in life when you do it for fun and not because you're trying to get something but you're just doing it because it's enjoyable you're doing it because you enjoy it you perform so much better <laughs> like when i when i when i do youtube videos and i just enjoy myself i just enjoy the process of creating i perform so much better i'm not like so like oh my god numbers metrics please validate me please approve me please like this video please, please subscribe no i don't i don't i don't care i'm doing this because i enjoy it I, I, what I, what I do is for enjoyment of it when i go down when i go down the street for a walk it's because i am doing it for enjoyment <laughs> don't get me wrong there are things that i do for money and I, I understand money has its place here right obviously you know we um we need to make money to live right but understanding that you can do things because you enjoy them and make money as a byproduct you know that's the reality of it my self-worth is not tied to you the person viewing right my self-worth is not tied to anything out there and don't get me wrong, um, 
healing from externalized self-worth, extrinsic self-worth is a real thing. And I wouldn't say that it happens overnight. I would say that it's a, you know, an ongoing game. Um, but it's really a fascinating experience. It really is just the awakening, the realization, right? The realizing that you don't have to tie your self-worth to the external is a fascinating thing is a fascinating thing. So a lot of people might ask, well, then what do you do instead? Well, what you do is you validate and approve of yourself. You take your energy back. You take your power back. You stop projecting out there. You stop doing things as a means to an end. When I say a means to an end, I mean you stop doing things to get validation and approval. And you start validating and approving of yourself, right? So, So let me make this very clear. Maybe you've had the awakening. Maybe you've been like, holy shit, I've spent my entire life externalizing my sense of self-worth. Okay, cool. Now you realize that. What's the next step? To validate and approve of yourself. If, if you've gotten to this point and you're like, wow, I spent my entire life you know, um, externalizing my self-worth and tying my self-worth to things out there because I thought I needed to, um, yeah, take your power back. Realize that you, um, you didn't get that healthy transition in childhood right? From parent validating and approving of you to turning to you validating and approving of yourself. Um, See, that's the thing that happens. Just to uh, make it very clear in this video, um, I, from what I've learned, a majority of people, um, they externalize their self-worth, right? Um, And this is like the entire world. Uh, Well, not not the entire world, but a majority of the entire world. they externalize their self-worth because that's what they were taught to do and they tie it to things outside of them right um and they chase things outside of them because they think that they need to for their self-worth um but to heal and to stop doing that is to take your power back to validate and approve of yourself and to realize that you don't need anyone out there to validate or approve of you um it's actually totally bass backwards um and it's unhealthy. So yeah, 